How we doing on that research? Admittedly, I keep, I keep going back to the Elder Recess, which is super irrelevant to my other stuff. Oops, that's the wrong button. Ah, uh, not do the dialogue again. I want to delete this dialogue from the game. <laughs> Give me like a talk option, like in Dark Souls. I love that feature. Where it's like you click talk when you have, want to have conversations and see if there's a new one or not. But I just get to the menu if I need to get to it. Basil's level two. Love so Azure's already level two already. I've bought. I've fought Lava Lavasioth multiple times, but Azure Rathalos is already higher. Dodagama's level one. Interesting how they handle some of these special investigations. Though here's my progress meters. So we're we're closest on Ancient Forest, but we've we're on the map with all of them. I just need to get those going again. But most important. Hey, buddy. Uh -huh. I need to get- oh yeah, I also need to get the third one of these done. Uh, that was like Talons of Ice and spy, uh, Spite or something like that? I don't know. I found the quest. I should just go out and do it, probably. Because then I'll have access- ah, crap, that's the multiplayer one. I'm just misusing menus here in my hurry. <laughs> and the punishment is loading screens, so you don't want to make that mistake. The, uh... I might want to just do that one solo, or even just throw up a flare to, to see people show up. But I should probably get out of the way just because I'm cumulatively missing out on one item per mission, essentially, for as long as I don't have that. Because I could be farming three things at once at the tree. It's the only thing there that has its own loading screen. All right, well, now that I've figured- now that I've seemingly kicked ass with that weapon type, let's just dump it, because we want to be good at things. Uh, I'll keep it there in the background, and it'll probably be my complementary weapon that, that, that I'll switch back and forth to. I'll probably- I'll probably still be using dual blades in the future, plenty. But especially against enemies that are weak- that are strong as lightning, uh, I'll probably want to switch to something else. And I just want to try this buffing weapon. That seems neat. I did find the, uh, I did find the greatsword very satisfying to use. It was a lot of fun. I know people didn't like watching me play the, the slow weapon. Like, it's the most complaints I got of the entire, of the entire series was definitely when I was using the, the greatsword. But I was having fun. It's an, it's entertaining. There's a lot of, like, risk of trying to land the big heavy strikes and everything like that. It's neat. Alright, so here's the hard bone horn. So now I've got the money. So here's Monster Keen Bone. And you can keep going down here, which which is ice elemental, but you need a uh, gives you a defense bonus. Interesting. But you need the uh, elemental unlock as an ability in order to get that out. Uh, but this this one below it does more base damage while also not having its element hidden behind uh, an unlock. The Gamma Horn. I like the idea of Dodogama being my weapon type. I've got a Wyvern Gem, I've got Dodogama Jaw, Dodogama Tail. I should find out what the last upgrade piece is, out of curiosity. I can find this. Gamma Horn 2. It's clearly called Gamma Horn 2 because the first one's called Gamma Horn 1. Uh, the upgrade items are Fire Dragon Scale, and then those pieces of the Dodogama. Fire Dragon Scale drops off of somebody I don't know the- okay, that's not- I don't know who that is. We'll have to wait until I fight that monster sometime. Good to know. So yeah, now I know I can't get this next rank until I unlock- until I, uh, get access to a whole new monster. Probably one of the three ones that I'm charging up the meter up for right now. But there's my Gamma Horn. So now I should start looking into getting gear that will benefit that weapon. That's gonna get complicated. Because that means I need to- I should forge equipment. Well, first of all, uh, set decorations. Uh, suture? Oh, anti-bleeding, -ble right. Meowster, poison coat, gobbler. 
No. Yeah, I, I do not have the item for making your buffs last longer. That means that right off the bat, we're going to want my pants to be the bone one. That comes with horn, horn ma maestro. <laughs> That's silly. Alright, I'm going to do some careful looking around. Uh, uh, so jump cut. And I'll have a more final idea of what to craft out of my current available resources. Alright, well this is a convenient feature to have. So I can just hot swap on the fly. So dual thunder set is orange, gamma horn set is purple. It's weird. So this one's all ingot, easy right? I actually kept the ingot greaves on my character because the the uh, they're, it's heavily upgraded so it already has tons of armor and it has plus two defense as a skill which adds even more so that's nice let's see can i get my skills from here so with this current setup i have horn maestro for longer duration slugger for more impact i wanted more slugger but unfortunately almost every rank of slugger you can get from armor uh comes from majestic horns <laughs> You need majestic horns in order to get slugger, because you need to make the armor out of that particular enemy. Which is the same item I'm trying to get to get my Kadachi daggers upgraded, so basically I have to kill a lot of Diablos in the future. You might be noticing this is totaling up very quickly to basically mean that I have to kill a lot of everybody in the future. Mildly frustrating. Handicraft makes my weapons a little bit sharper. You can see that little glowing bit at the end of my sharpness meter is how much is added by that effect. It just I just, no, I just noticed that for the first time. <laughs> Tiny bit of windproofness. Little paralysis resist, plus two defense, plus maximum level blast attack, so 20% bonus blast buildup and plus 10. Attack boost of plus four, but that's mostly from my necklace. And I do not have the Zora set bonus, which I didn't care about because it requires... It only makes me get a bit more abnormal damage when I do crits, but I only have 5% affinity total. I'm not even sure where that came from. Does it, oh, right. I have so much attack that it gives me 5% affinity. Yeah, that's not amounting to much, unfortunately. So probably not going to be doing that. That's the basic setup. To be clear about the individual items, that's uh, Zora Headgear has the blast and handy cra uh, craft. Zora Body has blast attack and windproof. Then I'm using the Bone Vambruses have the Slugger. Because this is supposed to... Uh, uh, much like the hammer, the horn's supposed to be good at doing KO, like doing actual proper knock, uh, stun damage to enemies' heads, so it seems like it's the way to go. Horn mace just kind of a no-brainer, obviously meant for this build kind of thing, and that's what the- that's- the, these pants are the only thing they currently have them that I can make. And then the greaves have the plus two defense and paralysis resist, and also have the benefit of being a piece of equipment that I, uh using both sets so when i upgrade it i'm upgrading both sets which is nice because i only have so many upgrade orbs to go around i haven't actually set my decorations i should oh the anti-paralysis comes from that actually okay this gets complicated fast so i'm gonna practice it i've written down my move set for three of the songs you can only stock three songs if you do a fourth song the third one gets kicked out of the sequence and so the idea is to do a, a continuous attack pattern so I can do all three songs in a row. There's going to be a health bonus, attack bonus, and defense bonus, all of which are large, which is encouraging. So it goes circle, both attacks at once, circle, triangle, good, circle, both, triangle, both, both. No! I did it wrong. I pressed circle at the end. I pressed the wrong button at the very end. Ah, let's try this again. Circle. I got distracted by... I looked up. I, I got distracted looking at the, the problem there. I'm dem oh, this is going to take some practice. I'm messing it up. Let's try this again. Circle. Both. Circle. Triangle. Circle. Both. Triangle. Both. Both. Triangle. Defense up, attack up, health boost up.
There we go. That's fantastic. So defense up and attack up both become... I think defense and attack both became XL and health boost became a longer boost or something. That is neat. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. That was clearly a long ass terrifying stream that's hard to continually get straight. So we'll see about that exactly. But that's how you do it if you want to get all of them in a row. I'm really amused by the fact that this thing sounds like a... What do you call it? Ah, shit, I, don't remember the, I don't remember the instrument name. You do, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's not the sound I was expect. Is it? Is it Vuvuz No, Vuvuzela Vuvuz is a really high-pitched one. It's that really long, like, checkmark-shaped horn that goes all the way down to the ground, I think. And then, then tips back up. I... Is it? No, it's not an oboe. Yeah. Okay, so... The instrument I was thinking of visually was the Alf horn, but that's the wrong instrument because I'm pretty sure that's not the low pitched blah, 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 whatever the fuck mean, whatever the one that sounds like the instrument I have. So, I haven't actually showed you guys around this, have I? Uh, I, I had the option to upgrade to my new dig because apparently there's three different apartments in this game, and I didn't even realize that. So I just I just have this now. Doesn't really serve much purpose besides like you'd be just like walking around a nice place. But you have a nice place, I guess. I don't. Th I think it has all the exact same functionality. You just has a, You just have an incredibly exorbitantly expensive room. Most notably, it has this. The loading screen. <laughs> the loading screen we saw at the beginning of the game is the stained glass that that is in your apartment at the end of the game, apparently. So there's that. Not really anything else going on here, though. It just sort of exists. All right, let's respond to an SOS! Ah! And try not to screw everyone over, you know? Try really- red and blue- wow, the red and blue crew, there's two of those. Or HR Pink Raytheon. You know, that's a very quick, low-impact run. Let's just do that real quick. It's just Special Arena, and I don't- have you guys seen Special Arena yet? I think I've done a couple of them while I was doing the- when I'm doing the off-camera grinding stuff. I just kind of casually play this game and try to do unimportant stuff in the background when I, uh, am in the process of, like, for example, rendering videos, or it's just really late and I'm too tired to record videos for the purposes of, like, doing commentary, but I'm like, eh, I could, like, get two more pieces of, like, a Rathalos wing or something for this item. So I, it smooths the playthrough a, a little bit so that we make a little more progress without any- without you guys missing the important stuff. But I have done like two arena fights, which is- it's interesting. Uh, you fight a monster in a small circle, basically. And there's two floors, one a pit in the middle, and then a wall around it that you can climb up. And there's not a ton going on, aside from the fact that there are in fact like a small handful of traps, technically. Not hyperventful. So I have my move set for my song sequence written on a piece of paper that I've taped just to the top of my monitor where it doesn't cover the screen, but it's just above the screen. <laughs> that might help, I don't know. It's a lot- it's a lot of moves to keep track. Oh, he's on the ground. That'll make it easier. Hello. Get that first move in, huh? Oh, I messed it up already. I messed it up already, and I'm doing like weird nonsense songs. Screw it, everyone gets a health boost. <laughs> this is weird. So, your attack counts towards your total. Like, with the songs you're working on. Even if you don't hit- hit the guy. It's just obviously you want to be hitting the guy, because that's how the game works. So that's attack and defense up. Ideally, I'd want to hit him with this part. Oh, come back here.
Oh yeah, that hit him a bit. Oh, that hit him a bit. And it gave everyone the bonuses. Awesome. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> well, my buffs are my buffs are up at the very least. <laughs> I, that was a stagger. I saw that. That's satisfying. Where's his head? There it is. <laughs> That's a big number. Oh my god. Oh. I was doing damage, but I was also thinking I was hitting my allies. But... Even my clumsy play, I was like, st I was like covering them with st with uh, bonuses. Like all of them were up. That's probably good. Oh, weird! I can't see which songs are currently active. Oh yeah, I can. I can't see what which ones are currently active via the top right corner, like I would like to. But I can see that that they're currently the buffs are on my allies, which they have. Oh yeah, they have like th multiple. Okay, so an icon- okay, there's a- there's a little Wi-Fi icon that shows... That Wi-Fi icon shows which one of them currently are in, ra in range, which is all of them, and then the top icon is switching between three different icons, because I have all three songs up at once. This is the bizarrest. <laughs> It's my combat musical instrument for combat, which I combat, in which I combat musical illiteracy? Question mark? Question mark, question mark? What I should do instead of trying to keep track of writing is just try to learn the icons properly, which are not super hard to learn. I just need to remember that the purple symbol is triangle. Because the the red circle being circle the red the red symbol being circle is really easy because it's the same color as the button and uh, that's and uh, triangle plus circle self explanatory because it's the it's the double note icon so that's easy too. I just need to get in the rhythm of it. Really, what's going to happen is I just need to play it. I just need to play as it so much that the sequences are being memorized because trying to re uh, make reference to either the interface or my notes to remember them are both a little kind of productive. But my supposed ideal order is to do health, attack, defense in that order. Just because that, that, those are the ones that stream into each other directly. I could also do health, defense, attack, technically. The important thing is that attack and defense both start and end with triangles, but health only ends with a triangle and starts with a circle. So health has to go first, and then attack and defense can follow in either, or in either order, and that leads to a continual sequence. I got a guild card. From Dark Majin. That happened during the run, so I'm, I almost wonder if somebody was, like, sending me a guild card because of the fact that they, uh... Fuck it, send them all to everybody. Boterum, one billion cards. How many do I have? Plenty. I'm not entirely sure what to do with guild cards, generally, but I know that there's an achievement for getting, like, 50 of them, so I'm like, eh, why not? Is my stuff updated? Yeah. Those are big numbers. Slow numbers, though. It's hard. It's really hard to calculate the DPS of your weapon. Because, like, I'm like, oh, giant numbers on this weapon and the greatsword. Cool. But then tiny numbers on the dual blades, but so many numbers. Like, it's incomprehensible to actually add up the DPS without... You'd have to, like, record it and have a video that's X number of seconds long. And compare that time to how much damage is applied. And then you'd be able to tell the DPS, basically. Oh, Basil Bub. They're going after Basil Bub. In f oh, 15 minutes. Shit. Fuck it. Let's get in there. Voucher that shit. That guy needs help. He he's doing a 15 minute run. Oh, Jesus. If anyone faints, we lose. Oh, no. I wish I had seen that before I clicked on that. I'm scared now that I'm going to ruin him. 
Oh no, that's a lot of people to potentially faint. This is gonna end tragically. I better buff the shit out of them with my buffing powers. See? My buffs are going to come in handy. I hope. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> For all I know, they'll fail before I even get there. They have- it's a 15 minute quest, so they're gonna be in a hurry. And if anyone faints, the entire mission fails? Wow, my money's that low already? I had the giant pile of money, but the process of upgrading what I wanted and getting the- and, I, and spending some upgrade armor orbs on people was enough to drain my entire income already. You burn through money in this game. I'm a little surprised that money even exists for the purpose of upgrades and stuff like that. I kind of thought that the, uh, just getting the raw materials would be, like, the core of the game, but surprisingly often I'm held back by whether or not I have the sheer cash for it above all else at times. I think that, I think that'll change as the gear gets rarer, like, the, when, I, when I start fighting higher level monsters and, and have much more rare materials, then I'm sure that the rarity of the materials will become significantly more of a throttle than the gear is, but I change weapons enough and also need to spend upgrade orbs enough that that's the primary thing that's limiting me most of the time. I don't know where Basil is right now, so I'm going to highlight the red guy. Take me to the red guy. Is here? Uh... Up there, okay. They'll probably be enjoying my buffs that increase their defense and health when uh, they're fighting this boss that if they die once, they lose. I'm very self-conscious of the fact that of the 15 minute time limit, a significant portion of that was lost by the fact that I joined him when the mission was already one minute in, and then by the time the loading is done and me joining in, it's been like a minute, and then by the time I re find him, it may have- up. Uh, crap. By the time I find them, it may have been another two minutes. That's like a third of the duration of the mission is spent just joining the mission, essentially. And I don't know if he's able to track Basil. So if he didn't track Basil, then we're still looking for him for for that a chunk of that 15 minutes. That's scary. Seems like a no-brainer you'd want to capture him in this case. Whether the objective is to capture him or not, just because... It takes less time. I got one piece of basil. Well, red is right here. but I have a lot of basil meter. Does it lead me to basil? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, got back a guild meter. A guild uh, card. Ten minutes. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking about. I'm, I was like, we're going to be one third of this... Of the way through this before we even reach it. Level up. A basil. This is going to be a tense one. I really hope I'm not the reason we fail. Oh, is he too far away? Oh, shit. Did we find him that as being a billion miles away? We did. Shit, and somebody's in combat with me. Uh, uh. When a mission's this short, suddenly you're like, oh crap. The travel time and scouting time is like... the challenge now. Get get out of combat. Get out of... really? It's faster just to kill him, isn't it? Oh. Go, 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 go! Uh... It's rough when it's a flying enemy, too. In a level like this, he could fly to some really dickish spots where we have to chase him. How awkward is it when you have two battle horns in the same level? Kind of... I guess it might not be that redundant if they have different buffs, though. Which a lot of the songs do. All right, let's try. Let's prioritize attack bonus. Ow! I want to prioritize attack bonus just so that we can kill him faster. Oh, is this the time for that? Oh shit!
I cannot get this right, can I? Triangle, circle, both, triangle. Shit. Okay, there's the attack up large. So I did have that up. I just messed it up. Okay, so there's the attack bonus for everyone. Ah, uh, there's so much going on in the interface that I'm actually losing track of some of the shit going on in it. I already had the song queued up and couldn't tell because I was looking at the wrong piece. You go away, we don't care about you. Okay. Now. This is way harder in practice, holy crap. Ah. God damn. It is hard to get the song going when you're trying to reference what it is because you're like, it's- you're losing track of what the sequence is. It's gonna teach me memory skills is what it's gonna do. Oh. Odd electrified fur. That's for a different thing. That's a thing I've never met before. Where'd he go? He's down there? Crap. I can't fast travel to him from here because I'm in combat. Shit, get off! Yeah. Okay, ten min- This might be a really- kind of a brutal time limit for taking down Basil. There's a lot going on. There we go. That's health boost up. That's some damage, goddamn. Now it's out of range, but I can still do the buff at least. There we go. Yep. No, oh, right into his face. Did he leave again? Could you not do that? I'm trying to unleash things upon you. Yeah, it's just I went from zero to basil. It's it's fine. This is a reasonable way to practice an incredibly complicated weapon that I'd, I am uh, not prepared for. He's not ready for capture yet either. Shit, it already said five minutes earlier, didn't it? Okay. Attack up is ready, but no one's here yet. Now. Now. Come on, attack up. There we go. Nope. 
All right, well, I'm about to become the one death, so let's avoid that. Do you not bother us right now? There's some damage. God damn. It's like I'm angry. Ah, we did it. We won, despite everything. And I'm just putting crappy songs on everyone now, now that it's already over. All right, his tail came off. I should carve that. Shit. No, carve his tail. No. Oh. That's brutal when a capture happens and it's like, yeah, you have 10 seconds to carve the tail, find it! I'm like, oh, shit. I was trying to be responsible and not carve the tail during the fight. We did it! I probably was a burden. You can only get better by practice, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I'm bad at things. Dang it. I'm gonna get used to it, though. It is, um, there's a lot going on. Like, one of the things that was throwing me off a little bit is that when you're looking at the sequence of, of your recent actions on the track, it has a thing that's prompting you to say, if you do this next, this power-up will happen. But, like, I was conf I was confusing that for being what my currently stored song is at one point. <gasps> at one point, like, not being able to quite tell what, like, what order things were going in and stuff like that, and also I was like, thinking that that was my most recent action was the one that it was saying that I could do next, but no, that's just a suggestion of what to do next and not what my most recent action is, so like, there's a... There's a lot of interface to sort through. The, the game's trying to communicate a lot of things with me at the same time, because I'm using this weapon, and that makes things crazy. Uh, danger. Oh, Jesus! Hey, I found a gun. That's who we're here to fight. Hi, how do you, how do you do? Yeah, you go fight Rathlos or whatever. Yeah, sure. That wasn't very nice. I guess I'll just wait for them to all show up. Might as well just charge it up, right? All right. <laughs> hey, over here. It's Uragon. Look where he is. That's him right there. If only I could have one to come over here. It's only really... <laughs> Where's all my teammates? Oh, wait, no, it's just him. It's just Unleashed. And no one else. Oh my god, he's also... Is he also a hammer user? No, he's a hammer hammer user. All right. I was worried. I was like, wait, what? Come back here. Come here. Come. Ow. It's rude. I was waiting for my teammates to start up, show up, because I didn't realize at first that. Oops. So that's one of the ones that takes a while. Whoops. I didn't realize that it's just me and, and Unleashed. There's no one else here. The other, the other names are our, our cats. Whoops. I should drink a cold drink before this gets worse. How are you feeling about that? I did not mean to play that one alone. Whoops. Well, the buffs are up at the very least. Ow. But I did- I missed him, mostly. Hey, you. <laughs> Even that missed. Oh, Jesus. Get out of the explosion, get out of the explosion. Oh, there's a healing thing right there.
There we go. Nope. Could you not show up, please? Hey, Kaiklu. Don't mind me, I'm just really bad at this. Hey! Hey, really? What, you got me again? My, my mobility, I got so used to it. Oop, you rolling at me? Okay, I just don't need this many things shooting me at the same time, frankly. It's getting rude. Get out of the fire. Get... <laughs> Holy shit, this could not go worse. No! Where is he right now? Where is he right now? I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, you missed me at least. Where'd he go? Now. I bet that didn't feel great. They see me dancing. Oh, that was bad dodge. Oh, this is hard. This is hard to juggle. Now. All right, it's really hard to see right now. Is he unusually large? I feel like he's unusually large. So I can't see crap half the time. Ow. Ow. God damn it. Am I stunned right now? I am. That didn't hit him in the head? God damn it. <laughs> no, not Basil too. Isn't Azure already here? How many additional enemies do I need at once? It's just unnecessary. I'm all stumbly now. Crap. Uh oh. Alright, that didn't hit me at least. Oh, he's running off. Oh! God damn it, the screen's just covered in body half the time. We're not here for you, dude. Oop, there's a piece. Are we getting out? We're getting out. Okay. He's not resting, though. Uh-oh. Come on, one more strike. Got it. Ow. It's so hard to keep the enemy on the screen sometime, or get it, be able to see him visibly on the screen, at least. Yeah. Come back here. Uh. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Right in his face. Oh, I moved right at that moment. Yeah. 
<laughs> this camera doesn't feel designed for this sometimes. You can't see shit. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Like he's just kind of clipping through everything while filming the filling the entire frame and stuff. Oh yes. That didn't do anything. I just completely missed. It's hard to figure out how to hit him with the right trigger. Now. Get him in the head. Oh, there we go. I think I got him that time. Ow. All right. Well, that's going poorly. Wow, this is extreme level difficulty. No, I didn't mean to double up. How did I double up? I didn't even do that many strikes in a row, did I? Crap. I'm accidentally doing things moves twice in a row now. Yeah. Dow, oh, Jesus. God damn it. He's bigger than normal, right? I'm not completely crazy. He's gotta be bigger than normal. Cause his range is in like infinite, it seems. His tail when he spins fills the entire room. And these memory these camera problems that feel all new to me. Damn it. Now oh, he fainted. That's not good. That's the full sequence, at the very least. <laughs> I can at least start the fight with a buff. Alright, I need to... Mega Nutrients. Not in the best spot at the moment. Alright. No, not the explosions. Heh. Blast him in the face. Yes. No. You ruined my sequence. Oh my god, there's so many things that can go wrong, and now that's gonna blow up in my face. I hate you. <laughs> Holy crap, this is so hard. <laughs> Even when you have it all prepped, you can still lose it all. That's again down there. Again is not the main character, that's his cat. Damn it. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, that's the bad one. All right. Oh, God damn it. I'm dying all the time. No, not now, Basil. We've got so much shit going on right now without you adding to that. No, no, no. I'm so fucked. I'm. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, that was a disaster. I can't tell if that was me doing an incredibly bad job, or if it was also that Urgon was, like, fucked up. <laughs> he was a mega boss. He was- I don't think he was anywhere near that big before. Like, every attack he did would just hit everything. But that didn't go well. Let's do a solo mission. So I can stop ruining other people's days, apparently. Damn it. I think that's the first time I've failed somebody else's mission for them. And it's not, it's not a good feeling. No, not a new quest. Let's just peace out for a bit.